the question of how we are to um, engage each other with our across our differences, particularly in this political season where it gets charged and mean words get thrown around and it affects both us in a larger setting, but also particularly here at Columbia. Um, I, I think about this question actually pretty frequently. Um, I think that the way that we can get beyond being even stuck in our own perspective so that we can't see the humanity of others is actually sitting and listening to their stories. All of us have belief systems, experiences, traditions that we come from. And what we see now and understand of each other are breed out of other experiences in our past. So if we take some time, really listen to each other's stories, it typically things make sense. And even if you cannot understand or completely agree with, you'll find love for that person. You'll find love and patience for their perspective. Uh, and you'll find yourself being stretched and you'll see where they're coming from. And I think ultimately that is what God calls us to do. And that's what community is made of when we can actually take some time, hear each other's voices, value them because they too are the image of God, period. And when we turn them away and when we belittle them, we're doing that to Christ as well. And I don't think we can deny that. I don't think it's healthy to pretend like we're not doing so. And while we may not always agree, what binds us together is so much deeper, so very much deeper than what we can create when it comes to statues or views or political affiliations. Um, we are the body of Christ. And when we start to say the fingernail is not as important as the eyebrow, we lose all of our personhood. And you never know, that fingernail may be what saves your life. That fingernail may be where your salvation comes from because you'll start to understand that God is working there in a way that's unique. And we need each other. So that's how I kind of understand it currently. And I clearly can see where it has lines here. And particularly, we have the conversation over more liberal and conservative views of the seminary. Being blessed to have friends on all sides. Um, shapes me and I think we lose a part of who God is shaping us to be when we close the door on our friends um, and it's hurtful and it's painful and the way that I think we can do better at that here at the seminary is empowering those voices um, creating spaces and really allowing other people's perspectives to actually shape and mold us.